So hi guys, in this lecture we will see how uh, layouts uh, will work and last lecture we see how anchor will work and so because uh, most of the component uh, they didn't provide the layouts uh, and uh, they are managed by the anchors but uh, layouts only apply we uh, if we are using the layouts like uh, item not provided still layout or pen not provided still layout but uh, column and row we, they provide layouts so we use uh, these columns and rows sometimes we like customize some component or we need to uh, create custom component so in that this uh, we need to need some row layout and the column layouts there is you can also use the row and columns but uh, row and columns uh, cannot provide layout they are managed by the anchors uh, but you can use the layout by importing the layouts uh, component library of QML and after that you apply the layouts on there so in this video we'll show you how to you can use the layout so without generating any error because if you are using the layout inside the layout you you are using the anchors so it will generate runtime error and uh, reduce the performance of the QML application because if you are creating some like desktop application mobile application or the embedded device application or node MCU for the microcontrollers and all so there is problem with uh, the rendering QML rendering so it will create the problem and sometimes it will crash uh, so we need to handle or manage in a way uh, so reduce the errors on runtime so where we need to use anchor where we need to use layout so we will teach you in this uh, video so let's get started so first what we need to do here first we need to import the control library because we are managing this control by using the layout so second thing we need to import also the layout library so Qt already provided the layout library and the control library so let's say import control library so where we use uh, QML control so let's import the layout layout 1.3 the latest version of the layout so we use this layout so layout will provide uh, some of the component which provide their layout so in this video I only or we will teach you or I will teach you to how to use layout and anchor from both so what we need to do here I am using the item uh, or the rectangle so not the rectangle I am using the item here item will not provide any uh, layout okay so it managed by the anchor so what we I am doing here I like anchor fill parent okay so I am filling this parent like it will fill uh, the parent like you will see in previous lecture we see uh, how rectangle will fill the whole window so it will also fill but you cannot see if it is filled or not because it will not provide any layout or the color it's uh, just an uh, the item okay so they have some properties but it's not have a, their own color or some of the property they have so we will see in future but here I'm just using how to like use the layout so I'm using here the parent uh, sorry anchor anchor will fill this item so inside this item I am using I am applying some width not not width because it's already filled so it already applied width and height so I am using here column layout okay I am creating some columns so let's I'm applying the column layout so here we use so the column layout I'm applying the width so it will like how much width it will take otherwise uh, it will like take a as required width but I am applying the width of the parent if you are not applying that's okay it will automatically adjust but uh, let's apply the width so you can if you apply the width then you can like position this uh, like layout left right top bottom or horizontal center vertical center like uh, we see an anchor okay so in width we apply the parent dot width okay so parent dot width we apply okay so here in the child level 
if I'm using the item and here the anchor like we apply the layout so here in the child level first child level child level okay you can use here anchor you can you can use anchors okay because it's uh, the child element of parent parent element which is managed by the anchor if uh, this is the child and uh, the parent managed by the uh, anchor so you can use uh, here the uh, anchor okay so child can use anchor but uh, the child of child like child of child like we have the this uh, column like uh, layout like let's i'm um, uh, creating one label here and we put some text uh, here we put uh, the like qt developer okay so i'm putting some text qt developer okay so we cannot use here anchor like if i'm put uh, it here anchor so it will generate like i'm putting here horizontal center parent dot horizontal center we cannot do this we can not not do that okay why we cannot do that because the parent elements manage the layout because it's a layout and you are you cannot use because parent element managed by the layout and the parent element uh, itself managed by uh, the anchor so the child can use the anchor but uh, the child of child cannot use the anchor because the parent element itself as a layout inside the parent layout they are the child so the child can use the layout let's see uh, let's see uh, how this will behave or generate an error see this is generated the q layout uh, detect anchor and item that is managed by a layout this is undefined behavior so we cannot do otherwise it will reduce the performance and generate some uh, runtime error so what we need to do here we need to uh, like remove this line comment out this line so what we need to put here the layout so layout we have a uh, different different property so first the layout have the alignment like alignment uh, where like left right top or bottom so how to we use so just put the layout layout uh, dot dot uh, we put the alignment name alignment alignment then we can use the predefined enum of uh, the qt which is called it the qt dot align align is the capital letter so these are the different different bottom center horizontal center align justify leading or top trailing vertical center okay so i am here what we use horizontal center because horizontally we creating so let's see if it is generate error or not so error is gone here you see the error is gone there and it is working like i am putting this horizontal center so it's uh, working horizontal center okay so like let's create a uh, one more uh, layout here so simply i'm copying the previous layout and deleting this line and the another column and column okay so another column so let's run this and see how this will be way. okay this will uh, working fine like qt developer anchor so this is the column okay if i'm putting this uh, as a row we can also use uh, row here okay so let's uh, we create here row okay row layout row layout here we am putting the row layout and i am similarly we use this uh, row layout uh, this row layout also can manage by uh, anchor because anchors okay anchors because this is the uh these both are the siblings if this can uh, use anchor this can also use the anchor okay so i'm here also putting the width uh, parent dot width parent dot width okay so layout the horizontal center layout the horizontal center means they are uh, taking the width uh, as a fill width and like equally with both the level and they are its own parent okay like on horizontal center let's see if it is working or not yeah this is will work let's see look let's i'm changing some name here like uh, qt div and qt column 
so let's see which one uh, they have like kitty dev they are center and they are let's uh, just uh, put uh, in center enter dot center and parent and this is the top level of so look they are fill with first uh, we apply the parent with and the first column what we need uh, they divided in in two parts because we create the row so they take equally with uh, 50 percent of uh, qt dev and 50 percent of qt column and after that we apply the horizontal center so horizontal center what uh, they do they create like uh, first they divided the 50 percent bit in the they have 50 percent bit uh, but the 50 percent bit uh, the child element have their 100 percent of bit in 100 percent bit uh, they apply the horizontal center so means that they divided the two parts first one part and second one part after that they apply horizontal center okay so this is the uh, row layout this is the column layout uh, what we can also do like if uh, i'm applying not uh, like this is the row layout but i'm not applying the equally okay i'm not uh, applying the equally like uh, here it will take the equally but i am applying some sort of width like we have the only the hundred hundred of okay so like what we do here i'm um, layout dot uh, prefer width we apply the prefer width prefer with like i'm uh, applying 100 only here yeah. but after that what it will take like it will reserve the 100 uh bit and after that this will take the rest of the bit like uh, if we have total 800 bit then it will take the 100 and it will take the 700 okay you can also reverse this you can also apply this to here and then what it happen it will reserve the 100 width for the qt column and the fill width uh, rest of the width will take the qt there there is no sequence uh, so it will first uh, when it will render then it will check uh, the prefer width uh, there is uh, any prefer width then first it will reserve that width after that it uh, divided the rest of the width and equally like if uh, i have the another also then what it did it will like reserve the 100 and rest of the like 700 it will divide equally 350 350 here and after that they align let's see how this will work look so qt they here uh, first it will reserve the 100 bit after that it will uh, they divided in two parts and in two parts they fill uh, like uh, applying on the horizontal center let's change the name so it will clearly see qt and dev okay so let's see yeah qt and dev here qt column here qt so it will reserve okay 100 and after that they divide it in two parts so this is called uh, like prefer width and uh, we apply the fill width of that so they equally divided in but this will reserve the width of 100 okay and align the horizontal center so we can do this and also we can apply like uh, if it uh, will not taking the width then we can also apply the fill width here uh, one more property have layout dot fill width fill width and fill height uh, here we need to do true also layout dot you can apply but here you cannot apply because you can apply but it will behave something like that so, but what you did like if you want to apply like with with here something that but it will not take you need to uh, apply the prefer with if you are applying the like with uh, dot parent with parent with this will not work this will not work because this uh, layout provide its own like fill with element so the similarly th we can do here so layout manage the layout dot fill with so here we apply layout dot fill with true okay so we can use this okay so we cannot uh, use this we can use this okay the second so it will work uh, let's see how it will behave look it will behave differently so what we need to do here i'm removing this line and let's check still they because they fill with they take the fill with and they 
they take the fill width and they are not taking the fill width so what are they they reserve the qt dot uh, dev means the element taking the width like it will taking the 10 if if it will taking the 100 then it will reserve according to the sync or uh, expand according to the qt dev size of size of the this text and rest of the uh, like reserve 400 for this but fill for the uh, middle element of because it will take the fill with, fill with like expand as you can so first uh, what it will do reserve for the 100 bit and second for what it will calculate the size of this text and be reserved for that and after that rest of the width we apply for this but what we need to do here if i am applying this fill width i, I also apply for this okay if i am applying for more both so what it will take it will equally divide it in both like 50 percent on this 50 percent of this and reserve 100 okay we have if 80 then it will uh, like 800 it will reserve for uh, like 100 for this element and rest of the 350 350 divide because we, we bought the element we fill it the width okay so let's see there is uh, nothing okay this will work similarly if i remove this uh, this can also work similarly because automatically they are also true inside the like component so look if we apply then will work if we not apply then it also work so this is the role layout we see like let's see uh, uh like we uh, see the how role layout will work and column layout will work and how to apply the uh, like layout property so we apply the anchor here we can apply anchor here but we cannot apply anchor here but if i am creating again any uh, like child rectangle like i am creating the child rectangle here of this qt there we can use this child rectangle like with is 10 height is 10 and the radius is radius is 10 so color is color is red okay and we can apply here anchor dot uh center and okay center and parent okay so center and parent so we can apply here because the parent uh managed by the layout but parent if parent managed by the layout then the child of this because parent of the parent is the layout so we can use this as a uh child of this so in child uh this their parent managed by the layout but itself not a layout if it's a self layout like if it, this one is the row layout then you cannot use here the anchor then you must use the hair layout but if this chart not itself a layout because row itself a layout and this itself layout can be managed from the anchor but the layout of child can manage by the is compulsory to manage by the layout but child of child Row, uh, like layout child of child can manage by the anchor and further if we apply something inside this like inside this if i created uh, i if i create another another they can also manage by anchors okay they can also manage by anchor if you further like creating the rectangle this also can manage by the layout so if i'm talking about the clearly like if uh, something is a layout then layout itself can manage by the anchor or the layout itself and their child element is must to use the layout okay it's child element or sibling must need not not sibling the child element must need to use a layout of child of the child this layout child of the child okay child of the child child can be managed by the anchor okay but if this row layout have their child also the row layout okay if this child itself a row layout let's see this row layout then we cannot manage this anchor okay so we need to check if this is the like role itself so this is the rectangle uh, means the child of this row layout so this must be managed via the layout inside this 
if they if i create another they can also manage by anchor because the child of the child layout so hope you got some idea so but what you need to do you need to practice and use the combination of row layout column layout so you just need to one thing keep in mind if if uh, we use a row layout and column layout then their child always manage by the layouts management or layout properties but their child further if this itself not a layout then they can manage by the anchor but if itself is a layout of the parent then we can further use the row layout so this is the hierarchy of using the row layout and here also you see the combination of uh, the anchor and the row uh, and the layout so where we can use anchor where we can use layout so i hope you got idea but uh, you need to practice and practice to get confident in this layout and anchor because this is the important uh, for the qt projects because uh, if you are trying to create or uh, building some projects here itself need to manage properly the anchors and layouts so they do not get the runtime any warnings and errors because it will create uh, the problem in rendering uh, when and um, because it reduce the performance of the application okay so that's all uh, hope you learn something Thank you guys, we will see you in the next lecture. Thank you guys.